Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video we have our beautiful 1965 Build-A-Bug project that is all completed on its way to Virginia for an awesome guy named Rich. And guys, if anybody is interested in uh, Build-A-Bug, go to my website, see the Build-A-Bug program. This is where I build a bug for you. Ground up restorations. And uh, they, they look like this. So... <laughs> Um, in this video, I want to talk about 12 volt conversion. Uh, I get a lot of questions about this uh, throughout the years, and most people today, I would say it's a mixed bag. You got, but I would say most people are opting for 12 volt even on the earlier cars. 1966 and earlier, USA bound Beetles uh, were 6 volt originally. Uh, some people who are purists, they still want to stay with the 6 volt system, which is totally fine, or you can opt for the look of the 6 volt system but have a 12 volt uh, uh, system running through your car so they do sell 6 volt body generators with 12 volt guts in them so you would have to find those on eBay or on the Samba uh, guys are converting the old generators that look uh, 6 volt into 12 volt expensive though you're looking at around six seven hundred dollars for that conversion this conversion we have here is an alternator conversion found at CIP1.com. They give you the alternator, they give you the pulleys, they give you the belt, they give you the shims. Uh, they basically give you uh, everything you need to get up and going. So my client here opted for the alternator setup that you see here. Uh, so what do you have to do to convert to 12 volt? Uh, I'm gonna go over that with you right now. So before we do, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'd be bringing a VW content like this, like this each and every week. So uh, it'd be great if you guys can chime in and hit that notifications. And that gets the algorithm going for me and gets us uh, out there for you. So <laughs> anyway, so here we go. 12-volt conversion. This is the uh, a pretty ideal version, I would say, if you want to go 12-volt. I know Alternator was not original until it came around in like 73 or 74 Beatles. Um you can go for a standard generator, that's fine too. Uh, they do have that. Uh, but a few things you're gonna have to change when it comes to converting to 12 volt. And you know, the other reason for six volt, uh, people opting out of it, you know, the six volt batteries, at least in my area today, are a little hard to come by. I know AutoZone locally by me can get a six volt battery or Tractor Supply can get a six volt battery. Um, they are not exactly the the, the exact size of what a Volkswagen 6 volt battery would have been uh, but you can make it work the only problem with them is that you know they're not popular batteries and not many, many people are buying them so the battery is sitting on the shelf for you know who knows how long and the life expectancy of the 6 volt battery might not be that great plus on top of that most of these stores do not have a long warranty on the 6 volt battery most are 60 to 90 days at at most so you're kind of at the mercy there, um, but you can always put a, you know, a hard start relay on it or you can put a trickle charge to keep it charged because six volt batteries tend to lose power after a while if you're not running the car for often. Um, so this is another reason why people go for 12 volt. You got a longer warranty on your 12 volt battery. And again, power, lights, uh, starting power, that kind of thing. It's just a better system through your car. You want to charge their phone in your car, you know, that kind of thing. You can do that. So, uh, but here we are. Alternator here, alternator conversion. One of the things you're going to have to look out for if you do go with the alternator here is that it tends to rub against the stock carburetor if you go that route. So you might have to shave a little bit off of the alternator, which is what we did on the body back here. So your uh, accelerator pump or your throttle arm can clear it. So be on the lookout for that. Each year might be a little different depending on your carb that you have, uh, but something you're gonna have to consider with something like that. If you have a generator, a standard generator, you should not have a problem with this. They do have an adapter plate that you can put underneath the carb that could stack this up a little bit higher. I've seen those and to, so then you can clear the alternator, but then you gotta worry about your air cleaner hitting your deck lid when you close it. So that's another thing you gotta watch out for. Um, when you go 12 volt, you're gonna have to change your choke element to a 12 volt, because originally it was six volt. So you could put a voltage drop on this if you want to, but I prefer going with a 12 volt uh, choke there. 
you will have to get a 12 volt coil to convert that. Your regulator, if you do go with a generator, you'll have to get a 12 volt regulator. If you go with the alternator, like you see here, the regulator is already built into it. So you eliminate that, that kind of simplifies things. But if you do go with a generator, uh, I actually prefer not mounting the regulator in the engine compartment at this point. I mean, a lot of guys, they might mount it on top of the, the generator, which looks kind of funny on a, on a 12 volt body. Or I see them mount them on the fan shroud or on the firewall. I don't know. It just doesn't look too good for me. I, I, I like less clutter. I like a clean looking engine compartment and I don't like a regulator screwed into my fan shroud. So what I do is I basically rewire uh, the regulator to go under the back seat like they used to uh, do uh, from 67 onward. So 67 Beetles and later would were mounting the regulator under the back seat on the driver's side. So, uh, so we do that actually. So when we do the conversion. Um, so that's basically in your engine compartment what you're going to need to change. Uh, once you move on from there, um, then it's your lights. So your license light here on the deck lid will have to get updated. Of course, your, your lights in the back, brake lights, turn signals, flashers, if you have anything like that going on. Um, yeah, so you got your lights here. And then you're going to have to come to the front. And of course, change your headlight bulbs, your parking light bulbs as well. Also, don't forget your front blinkers. They will also have to be updated to 12 volt bulbs. Your horn. So you have to update your horn. Or you go with a voltage drop if you want to keep your 6 volt horn. Uh, but the other thing you're going to have to change too. Uh, your wiper motor armature. They do have a 12 volt armature that you can update. Or you can go with a voltage drop like I have here. The standard resistor style kind of voltage drops that they have on the market today, I don't really care for those. Those get really hot. Um, they really don't put out enough juice. I get this on eBay and it is a good voltage drop and it uh, supplies good power to the wipers as if, uh, you know, how they're supposed to operate. Uh, that other resistor that they sell to some of the VW shops, it just makes the wipers go so slow. Uh, so I really don't opt for that. And again, it gets very hot. I don't really care for that. So you will also have to change your your flasher unit. So your little silver can here. That's going to have to get changed as well. So, and then also your speedometer. Your bulbs and your speedometer are going to have to get taken out. And change those to 12 volt as well. Also, when converting to 12 volt, you do not have to change your switches nor do you have to update your wiring harness. Uh, they will work with a 12 volt system. Uh, so nothing to fear there. Coming inside the car, now you also have to change the bulb in your fuel gauge. If you got this earlier car, so that fuel gauge right there, you have to take the bulb out of there. If you're running a six volt radio, you could put a voltage drop on that as well. Or what I usually opt to do is uh, you can send the radio out and have the guts uh, transformed or updated to 12 volts so then you can use your radio and everything still plays the part or you just use it as a showpiece the radio and uh, I just usually get a Bluetooth speaker and uh, run through my phone so you can also you're also gonna have to change your dome light so that's gonna have to go to 12 volt as well if you do opt for the expensive conversion which is the six volt body generator with the 12 volt guts in it. Um, there's a fellow on eBay where I've been getting uh, that set up with, and he gives you a dummy regulator. So a six volt dummy regulator to put on top of the generator, which would have played the part and played the period correct look for your 66 and earlier beetle. So what we do is we just run some dummy wires from there uh, just to make it look like it's hooked up. And we put a real regulator, the 12 volt regulator, under the back seat. Now, there used to be a fella on the Samba that was selling those 6 volt body Jennies with the 12 volt uh, internals with a working regulator that looks the part on top of the generator. 
Uh, I have yet to <laughs> find him again. If he is out there, please, if you're watching this video, uh, come forward. We want to get your stuff again. So uh, he used to set up a 6-volt regulator to also have 12-volt uh, internals uh, to make it all work and play the part. So uh, when you went to a car show, you had no problem showing off um, your car and people thinking it's still 6-volt. So pretty cool. And that's that video, guys, for 12-volt conversion. If I did miss anything, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm running off script here, so uh, whatever's popping in my mind, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking it out to you guys. So, um, But, um, yeah, guys, um, ideal situation. I mean, many people are looking to go to 12-volt. It's just a little more practical um, for, for those out there that want to run their cars without having uh, some of those uh, you know, light issues, starting issues, uh, dead battery sort of situation. So... Uh, but that's it guys so I uh, hope you enjoyed that video please be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell I'll be bringing you VW content like this each and every week and uh, take care uh -huh.